Hello everyone, it's been a while since it's been just me in the chair here. Welcome back to my reading nook. Uh, <laughs> welcome back to Sensitive Skin Hooray, I'm Sandy, as I'm sure you know by now. Uh, they might be noticing something a little different about me. I had a haircut, and it's straight, because the people at the salon uh, know how to straighten hair effectively. Uh, it took about two hours for my whole haircut adventure, but I really needed a haircut after I watched the last video and my hair was just... I was like, wow, it looks pretty out there. I need to fix that. So hopefully this video with the sun shining right in my eye will, um, you know, I will prefer this hair look more. <laughs> Enough about my hair. Uh, what I have for you today is a winter skin suggestions video because today is the first full day of snow here where I live. Uh, well, yesterday the snow was falling, um, but I didn't have to go outside. So for me, it's the first full, full day of snow. Um, yesterday I spent the entire day under a blanket studying and annotating articles, and I was enjoying looking out the window, watching the snow fall, but I was like, you know what, tomorrow I'm gonna have to go outside in that, and it's gonna be so cold walking across campus. I better bump up my skin game. So my friend and I went shopping, and um, he wanted some moisturizer advice as well, and I was like, ah, oh, that's perfect, because I have decided what I want to buy for my winter skincare, and so we both bought the same thing. We had a little shopping trip to dun -dun -dun -dun, Sephora, um, <laughs> and I got a cute basket to carry all my stuff in, because... I was using plastic bags and that was not efficient. I thought I would do a little walkthrough of my winter skin routine. Uh, these are all fragrance-free products, so if you don't want to use just fragrance-free, you don't have to, but these are what I use during the winter. Uh, starting with my skin moisturizer. I've already talked about this a little bit before, but it's the Simple Moisturizing Facial Wash. Um, you know, fragrance-free, non-drying, and the stuff is really moisturizing, so I, you know, I use it in uh, rotation with a couple other facial washes during the summer, but for the winter I'm thinking I'll be using this every day except for when I exfoliate. Uh, so there's that one. Well, during the day I will stick with my Olay Total 7 Effects in One Moisturizer and Serum Duo with Sunscreen Fragrance Free, um, except I'll probably use like two pumps where in the summer I would use one. Um, just because my skin needs a little more moisturizer, and I'm actually thinking about possibly layering this with the next product that I'm going to show you, which is the moisturizer that I recommended for my friend, and I would just wear this all the time alone, except it doesn't have any sunscreen in it, and I want to, you know, getting up there in my 20s, I want to make sure that I keep anti-aging going. So if this was anti-aging, this would be all I would ever wear all the time. You know, I said in my last, one of my videos that I was thinking about or I couldn't decide if the Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel or uh, the lo Lotion Plus better. I've decided. I like the gel better. Because it is just so... You put a little on there and it's just so smooth. Like, I noticed right away my cheeks were like... Ah. Um, so I will attempt to do a close-up here. There you have it. Just in the past two days, I've really been able to tell the difference. Cherish, you were asking for a moisturizer. This is the one I recommend. A plus. The lotion has a little plus after it. The gel doesn't. I think it should because it is fantastic. Um, so at the end of the day, when I want to take my makeup off, I will go at it with the simple cleansing facial wipes. I mentioned these in my first empties video, and that's because I go through them like once, one a day. Um, I just got a fresh pack. This isn't even opened yet. Still poofy. The next product I have I haven't tried yet, but in my, you know, trying to revitalize my hair after it's kind of traumatic last year, I've been looking t for a product to use to bring it back to life, and I've heard a lot of good things about this, from of this brand anyway, from the beauty bloggers that I watch, and then I saw it in my local Marshalls. Uh, it's the Macadamia Natural Oil Deep Repair Mask, and I just love the packaging. Looking in the basket, I realize almost everything I have has green packaging. That's kind of weird. Um, so I'm going to try this out hopefully tonight, and I will let you know what I think of it. It's not fragrance-free, but it is paraben, cruelty, and alcohol-free. So, you know, normally, you know, my hair can stand a little bit of fragrance. Um, and 
usually that like with the shampoos that I use they do have fragrance in them but I think it's because I wash them out right away and I don't let it sit on my skin that it's not an issue so I am hoping that this uh, because you do rinse this according to the instructions you put it in your hair for about seven minutes and then you rinse it out I'm hoping that that will also be fine so maybe I should do a strand test and then I'll go ahead with the whole head if it uh, is okay is also green and it's not really a product it's more of a you know comfy winter item that I wanted to stock up on because I spend a lot of my time in my office freezing the best way to combat that is to have a blanket nearby and to have fuzzy socks <laughs> so I went to Target and bought about four pairs of these these were two bucks they're exhilaration um, and they're very fuzzy very warm so now studying won't have to be so cold. In the winter months, my skin around my eyes gets a little dry. I mean, that's always kind of happening, but especially in the winter. And I got a sample recently from the Macy's counter of the Clinique All About Eyes Cream. It's a very, it's supposed to reduce re circles, puffs, uh, circles and puffs. <laughs> Grammatically, there should be the word and, not just a comma there. That is why I messed up the reading of that. Uh, so, this is fragrance-free, allergy-tested, blah blah everything from Clinique is yay. Um, and I've been starting to put this on in the morning before makeup and at night before bed. And it's just nice and soothing. Nice and soothing. Uh, my lips get chapped all the time. I mean, it gets exponentially worse in winter. It's the Carmex Moisture Plus. And they have, they started out with just a silver package. This is very cute. They've started with different um, cute patterns on the packaging. This is kind of a geometric pattern. <laughs> it smells like vanilla or olive oil to, at, to different, it depends. Right now it smells like olive oil, but sometimes I'm like, oh, it smells like vanilla. The packaging says it smells like vanilla. I kind of think it smells like olive oil. Um, but it does have sunscreen in it, SDF 15, and it's generally just really nice. Goes on nice and clear. I just love the fact that it's kind of like it's in a lipstick applicator, and that's all I have to say about that. So th what I've gotten, my friend also bought this to, because uh, his lips are getting chapped as well, and I was like, you know, I'm, I recommended this to him. I was like, I should probably buy another one too. Um, this is the Vaseline Lip Therapy Advanced Formula. There it is. Packaging, I think, has been the same for this since I was a kid. Just really nice and heavy duty. This is the product that I turn to when I've, you know, in the past, if I wore a lipstick that I shouldn't have, pretty much everything, you know, that was making me break out, and I just was like, I can't handle my lips right now. They are all chapped. They have that red ring around them from something. I need to fix this immediately. This is the Neosporin Lip Health Overnight Lip Renewal. It comes in a little tub. This is about five or six bucks, just because I don't want, you know, hands have germs, and I just don't want to get germs in the product and then have that sit there forever and then put it back on my lips, yeah. Uh, so with the Q-tip, I take the Q-tip and put a little on my lips and then go to sleep. Now, <laughs> there is a reason this is overnight cream. The packaging says, you know, do not swallow this, so put only use this when you're about to go to bed. It's that intense of a product. Um, so I just make sure I drink some water and then apply this. And then the next morning when you wake up, your lips are back from the dead. Like, it's just wonderful. It is so worth the five bucks. And I feel like this tube will last me forever because there's so much of it and you need so little of it. It is intense stuff. Uh, here is the Neosporin Lip Health Daily Hydration. This has sunscreen in it as well, and uh, this is about four or five dollars as well. And it comes, you know, it's got a nice little applicator. This is really good for during the day. Um, it's very good for healing your lips. You know, if you're if you got a really deep crack in them, like winter tends to make me do. So I'm gonna be pretty well armed against this winter. And the last thing that I want to talk about is my hand cream that I carry around in my purse. Um, I am a huge fan of Eucerin products. Uh, when I first found out I had eczema, you know, my doctor recommended um, lots of different brands, but he had a box of samples for me to try, and in it was a teeny tiny tube. It was really cute. I wish I kept it. It was like this big. Of uh, this cream. It's the Eucerin Intensive Repair Extra Enriched Hand Cream with 
stuff. Um, and here it is. This is about $4, but if you're lucky, you can catch the big tube uh, for about $9 with this attached to the back of it, and so I never end up having to buy this on its own. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed my winter skin recommendations. Let me know if you have any good, um, you know, products that you use pretty much exclusively to battle off the harsh winter, and I'll see you in my next video. Sensitive Skin Ray!